Hey guys, today I have this makeup look. It is this gold, glittery type of look with some dewy skin. So if you guys are interested, then let's go ahead and hop right on in. Super simple and achievable. So to go ahead and prep the skin, I'm going in with MAC Fix Plus and just spritzing a decent amount on my face. This will just get it hydrated and ready for foundation and just, you know, help the dryness. But we are going to be doing the eyes first today, so I'm going to go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and prime my eyelids first using a smaller brush. And I'm just going to be getting that all over my eyelids. For this look in particular, I decided to not do a dramatic eye look. I wanted to focus it more on the eyeliner, so I'm not going to be doing too much shadow, but I am going to be doing a little bit, so I do want to prime, obviously. So I'm going to put that all over my lids and blend it out with my finger. Going with the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm taking this matte shade. It's a beautiful shade, and I feel like it looks really good on any skin tone. It's more of like that muted type of purple mauve color. I just love it. So I'm going to put that all over my crease area and blend it inward and outward so yeah from inner to outer corner and I'm not gonna be really making this a defined look I just need some type of transition and color just to get down for like a base so I'm just gonna blend that out with this brush this brush is also from Morphe then taking this smaller real technique brush it's a little bit more defined I'm just taking that same exact color and running a little bit more pressure into my direct crease just to kind of warm up the look a little bit and not just look like a transition kind of have a little bit extra something in the crease. In with Milani Conceal and Perfect and my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm going to mix those two together and put it all over my skin. I really like this combo right now, or at least any foundation mixed with the Milani one is my favorite right now. I feel like it just gives the skin super flawless look. I just love it. So I'm going to be using the Clinique Oil and put a little droplet onto this oval brush from Royal and Langnickel and Moda brushes. Did a whole Instagram video on them and I'm absolutely obsessed with these brushes right now. But I'm just going to put a little bit of the oil on that brush just so my foundation can get a little bit dewier and my skin can look a little bit healthier if that makes sense so I'm just gonna blend that all together on my skin make sure to blend it down to my neck so there's no line honestly these brushes you guys are amazing I swear by beauty blenders or beauty sponges to apply my foundation but guys like this brush I will keep using for a while Taking my favorite concealer at the moment, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light, and this marbleized sponge from Real Techniques. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna be putting a little bit underneath my eyes and blend this away with that sponge. This sponge is so good. It was my first time using it, and I absolutely love it. The point really fits into that area really nicely, and it has a bunch of different like points and curves on it where you can get into different crevices, which I really like, and I think it just blended it away really flawlessly. I love it. So yeah, that sponge. Perfect, and I got mine from Ulta. I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer that we just put down. I'm using my Holy Grail Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm obsessed, I know I use it all the time, but it does do the trick. No creasing, it makes it look super flawless on that under eye area, so I love it. I'm gonna be brushing it away with this brush, and yes, girl, it's marble. I know, like I have an issue, but <laughs> I love it. That brush is from Time Los Angeles. They're awesome. So I'm just going to sweep away the powder. To get some warmth into my cheeks, I'm going to be putting the Anastasia Foundation Stick in the shade Mink to act as my contour on this smaller oval brush. And I'm going to be putting it into the natural hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on my head, like my forehead area, just to give a little bit more bronze and defined look. I'm not going with a crazy contour at all, but I am just kind of warming up the look. All right, so moving back over to the eyes, I'm taking the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, and I'm using this gold glitter. I'm gonna take the liner portion, and I'm gonna line my upper lid area as if I would do a regular liner is how I'm gonna do this. The brush on here is a little bit thicker, though, so you wanna be careful when you do that. So I recommend starting out with the outer portion first just to kind of get your line there and so it's not super harsh or thick. So I'm just gonna be outlining and creating my wing and I realized I did a similar look for New Year's last year, kind of going with this vibe, but it was definitely different. I'm obsessed with gold glitter, anything gold, come on, but glitter liner is just so pretty. I don't know, I think it amps up any type of look, especially if you're just making that the focal point. 
So I'm just gonna be lining both of my eyes. And then you'll see I try to do an inverted line as well. So into my inner corner of my eye, I do create a little line going outwards towards my nose. Once I have the line down, I just went in with a blending brush and kind of blended that shadow together just a little bit more, just so it looked kind of seamless and a little bit more put together. Now running a darker brown color right underneath my lower lash line is where I'm going to be placing the shadow just to kind of get everything more seamlessly put together and flow a little bit nicely. I'm taking a precise brush from Royal Ang Lane Nickel and running that color right underneath. Now to go ahead and glow up the cheeks, I'm taking the TARDIS Pro Glow from Tarte, which is new and I'm so excited to use it. I'm taking the shade Stunner and Fire, and I do go back and forth and mix them together because I never just do one highlight, <laughs> let's be real, but yeah, I'm taking Stunner, which is a beautiful like champagne glow, and then Fire, which is more bronzy. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose and my lip and all those good spots. And I'm just gonna be taking this oval brush again, which is a little bit smaller and fits perfectly into that highlight area. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some Ilore Lux Lashes and I will leave the name listed down below because I cannot pronounce it. But I'm gonna be putting those on with some Kiss Lash Glue. To line my upper and lower waterline of my eye, I'm gonna take this LA Girl Gel Liner, and this is in black, and I'm just gonna be running that on the tight line portion above and right on my lower waterline. So for my lips, I had a whole different vision, but I decided to leave it the way that I had it here with my highlight kind of overlaying on my lips. I kind of just like that look, which I know, I'm weird, whatever. But I'm gonna be taking the Kylie Birthday Edition Gloss, and this is in the shade Poppin'. I'm gonna place that over my lips, and that has more gold flex to it, and looks kind of highlighty. And then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Lip Injection, just to kind of get that clear gloss back into the lips. And I just love this combo right now. It's super gorgeous and it does add a little bit of plumpness to the lips. Then I'm going in with Pure Triple Threat Mascara and I'm running that on my lower lashes and blending the false ones with mine. Alright and that completes this makeup look. Have a happy and healthy new year. I love you guys so so much. Honestly from the bottom of my heart and yeah big wishes. Happy new year and I think that is all. Until my next video I will catch you then. Bye. Mwah.